is in there, come out at once. If you don't come out now, I shall come in and turn on the light. Very well. I'm oh, sorry you've had such a long wait. Do either of you mind tea? No. Only uh, the girl guides must have broken in while I was out this afternoon and tidied up my kitchen. Well, I used to keep my coffee in a tin mark custard powder. Tea's fine, Hector. Well, now, having delivered my standard official lecture on the seriousness of matrimony, have you made up your minds where you're going to live? Well, you can't just toss down in shooters wood, you know. Sir James's gamekeeper would get the right needle. No. You'd heard that Larkworth and Billiardson let us down on Holly Tree Cottage. Yes, I've always nurtured a fine, unchristian mistrust of those particular estate agents. Larkworth licks his lips too often, and Billiardson's eyes are too close together. Oh, that's funny. Excuse me. Mary. Oh, I feel much better now. <laughs> and you've no idea at all who he was, Miss Crowell? Not the slightest. I never even got a look at his face. I took one step into the relic chapel. I thought it was probably one of the choir boys you see fooling about. If I'd have known. Oh, I'm sorry, Rector. I hope you don't think I'm a silly old woman. No, no, no. A silly old woman couldn't have given such a lucid account of an assault. An assault? Oh, goodness, that does make it sound dramatic. Almost as if I'd been, uh, what do they call it these days, uh, mugged. What's he doing there, anyhow? You're the axe copper, Rex. What's the official verdict? Burglar. Well, if he was, he wasn't a professional. There's nothing in the church worth nicking. Couldn't it have been a tramp or a down and out? Somebody who sneaked inside to get his head down for the night. Uh, possibly, but your friendly neighborhood down and out would hardly resort to the heavy stuff. He'd just uh, mumble an excuse and then shamble off. Oh, whoever he was, I'm sure we've seen the back of him. And I'm only sorry to have caused all this fuss and bother. Nonsense, Mary. We're proud of you. You've sat in that chair and given your evidence like a good one. And having given it, Rector, it's high... Oh, high time I was going home. Are you quite sure you feel up to it? Mm. <coughs> You're not walking home, that's for certain. I'll drop you off if you like. Well, the walk will do me good. Besides, you've only got a two-seater. No, it's no bother. I'll run you home first and then shoot back for Angie. Oh, now, that's settled, sir. No more arguments. Oh, it can't be long enough. And if your back's still playing you up in the morning, you get straight on the phone to Dr. Simmons. Oh. Angie can manage the school. Is that understood? Yes, thank you, Rector. Good night. Good night, Mary. I think I'll just take a stroll across to the church, make sure that Charlie Harry didn't get his hands on anything. You'll be all right here till Tom gets back. Can I come with you? Well, you're not nervous, are you? Well, I imagine our break and entry merchant's miles away from the scene of the crime by now. Oh, isn't that? No? It's just that I've never seen a CID man go to work before. Do you use a magnifying glass? Watch it, ex-CID. If I was still with the force, there'd be a quick... Hello, hello, hello. Move along there now, please, miss. Yeah, come on. You too, Zara, old girl. Jump to it. Well, he hasn't taken anything out of this. Hasn't put anything in, either. <laughs> Come on. No, he hasn't touched the altar. Let's have a look in the relic chapel. No, nothing's been disturbed in here. I wonder if Sir Roger noticed anything. Is the cup still safe and sound? Oh, well, any burglar in full possession of his marbles, Angie, would know that that isn't a genuine article. No, no, he'd have done his homework and discovered that the real Van Dyke cup is tucked up safely in the bank vault. Common knowledge. Supposing he hadn't done his homework, though. I mean, couldn't it have been some yobbo who'd read or heard about the famous Van Dyke cup and thought the one here in the church was the real thing? Can you smell something? No. Well, try. Take a deep sniff and tell me what you smell. Nothing, apart from the usual churchy sort of smells. Oh, go on, define them. 
floor polish. And? Brasso. Yeah. rent kill mm -hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Except... What is it? Well, a sort of garagey smell, I suppose you'd call it. Oil. Is that what it is? Oil. Now, what possible use could anybody have for a can of oil in the relic chapel? That door hasn't been open for donkey's years, has it? Oh, it's the old pilgrim's door. I don't suppose it's been open more than a couple of times this century. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Here's your oil, Angie. Yeah. He's had a go at oiling these hinges. Disappointed that you haven't got a magnifying glass. Yeah, I have. It's over in the rectory with my Sherlock Holmes deer stalker. Yes, and look there. That key was rusted in before. But why would anyone break into a church to oil the lock of an old door? You can do better than that. Well, if he oiled the lock, why didn't he go out this way when Mary arrived? Elementary, my dear Watson. He forgot the bird grill. But he didn't have time to work on this as well. Yeah. Rusted in, well and truly. Come along, young lady. Where to? Back to the rectory for you. Tom will be arriving in a minute, and you wonder where you've got to. Then, just in case our visitor decides to pay us a return visit, I'm going to collect a blanket and come back here. You're not going to spend the night here, Septimus. No, I'm not, but Zara is. You're going to do a spot of watchdogging, aren't you, old girl? Well, Zara. Was him, he did come back. Well, you saw him off all right. Didn't get past you, did he, old girl? Uh, pity the snow's gone. Might have been able to follow his tracks. Oh well, come on. going to be Mount Sinai when it's finished. You don't mean there's more of it to come? I mean when it's dry. It's papier-mâché. We're going to paint it green and brown. Mm, sooner the better in its present state. It looks like something out of a late-night horror film. You should have seen last week's Windsor Castle made out of egg cartons. Mm. Try not to lean on the table, David. You get it all over your trousers and your mother will murder me. You're doing very well, Gary. That's lovely, Martin. Well, you seem to be managing all right, Angie. Any idea how long we're going to be without Mary? Not long enough for her own good, if I know her. It took me all my powers to get her to stay in bed today. There's an awful bruise across her back. Dr. Simmons seen her yet? Oh, he's going to call in this afternoon. Miss, as soon as... Miss! Yes, in a minute, Louise. I'm talking to the rector. I told her she should have reported it to the police. But she said she had done, telling you. Mm. Once a copper, always a copper. Eh? What have I got that Constable Skinny could do with? Sherlock Holmes' hat and a magnifying glass. Have you discovered yet what that fellow was doing in the church? Yeah, I'm the froggiest. The fact that he came back again rather clobbers your yobbo theory. Well, he's definitely got his sticky fingers set on something. Something more valuable than the copy of the Dane Dyke Club. Well, whatever it is, he's dead keen on having it. I mean, look at the time and effort he spent working on those hinges. What is he after that? As the official statement says, if there are any future developments, Miss, you will be kept informed. Well, 
I was press on. Only popped in to see how you were managing without Mary's guiding hand. Fine. No problems. Good. Oh, I just hope your fiance is having as much success at coping with my motor car. Huh? Not just a quick ten-minute job, then, eh? You'll be lucky. Gets me is how it's kept going all this time. Faith. Stump engines and bubblegum ball, aren't they? Just have to send away for parts. Well, I'm going to have to leave it with you, then, am I? Short of carrying it home on your back, Rector. Very much afraid you are. <laughs> it came back, then, I hear. Hey? Your villain. Oh, yes. Half past three this morning. Sarah's barking saw him off. Persevering sort of bloke, eh? Yeah. Idea what he was after. Baffled me. Not half as much as this has got me going. I thought they only fetched animals off the yard. Any objection to me borrowing these? None at all. How did you bring them back? Yeah. You got a job on, have you? Hmm. I want to see if I can open the door to the relic chapel from the outside. You've gone and locked yourself out of your own church, have you? No, not this time. We're just testing security in case our chum from last night has another go. He might. Well, he's had two shots already. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a third. Planning a reception committee, eh? Something like that. All night vigilante volunteers. Hmm. You can advertise in the parish magazine. <laughs> oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. But I am going to leave Sarah in the Relic Chapel for a couple of nights, just in case. Ah, oh, you're better safe than sorry. Right. I'll tell you one thing, Cole Jack. What's that? If he makes a break for it, I wouldn't count on catching him in this. You sure you're well enough to be back, Mary? I've had two full days with my feet up, Rector. I was only knocked over. I wasn't beaten up. Russell? Russell! Yes, Miss Crow? Are those your willies? No, Miss Crow. Why not? Where are yours? I can't find mine, Miss Crow. Well, it's not going to help matters taking somebody else's, is it? No, Miss Crow. Come along, then. I'll help you look for yours. It must be somewhere. <laughs> Bye, Rector. See you later, Mary. Yes.
it won't entirely. You're right, sir. Uh, uh, yes, I quite all right, pardon me. Uh, there, Mount Spurkin. No need to apologize. Oh, but I must, I do. Most humbly. <laughs> Head stuck in a book as usual, I'm afraid. Well, well the himmel, actually. <laughs> yes, I was miles away trying to come to a decision about next Sunday. You see, I'm torn between number 240, service and strength, God's angels and archangels, and 238, angels and ministers, spirits of grace, friends of the children beholding God's face. You see, I rather tend to plump for the latter. What say you? Uh, awfully sorry, Padre. Not really my line. Of course not. You're far too shaken up to even consider it, and I'm not surprised. Well, if you feel up to stepping across to the rectory, I could have the kettle on in no time. Nothing like hot, sweet tea for minor shock, you know. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's jolly decent of you, Padre, but I do assure you there's really no cause for concern. <laughs> Worst things happen on active service, what? Ah, oh, you're a military <laughs> man, then. Regular army, Major, retired, of course. And after faithfully serving your queen and country, you come to visit our little country church and the damn fool rector bowls you over. <laughs> what must you think of me? <laughs> <laughs> Least said, soonest man, Ed Ah, oh, Well, I really must report back to headquarters in London, so if you'll forgive me... No, no, no. It's you who must forgive me, Major. <laughs> My goodness gracious me. We won't see so much as a brass farthing in the collecting box if word gets out the rector's knocking his visitors around. <laughs> <laughs> and things are bad enough as it is, what with dry rot in the vestry and death watch beetle in the roof. <laughs> I know what you're here for. Do you? <laughs> yes, suddenly struck me. Your hobby's architecture, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You found yourself in the district and decided to come and have a look at our relic chapel. Am I right? Yes. Yes, oh, the chapel. <laughs> I've been meaning to take a gander at it for donkey's years, but... Uh... So you came all this way just to have a look at the famous Dane Dyke gargoyles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> gargoyles. You've got me card Mark Padre. <laughs> Extraordinary pieces of stonemasonry, those gargoyles. Sculpturally speaking, they're the finest I've seen in ages. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I really must be totally. Now, one thing before you go, only take a second. <laughs> I say, you are in a hurry. Ah, oh, well, I really must return to billets tonight, Father. Well, I just wanted to give you one of these by way of an apology. Oh, that's awfully kind. A, a picture postcard of the relic chapel or one of Sir Roger's effigy. Um, well, this one is delightful. Ah. Uh, perhaps I might give you something for the... For the no, 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 no. I uh... insist a little token of amendment for knocking you over. <laughs> well, jolly days do you, Father. Well, uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Major. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look in and see us again if you find yourself in the district. <laughs> Dang that gargoyles, huh? My left boot. You, Major, are what's known in the trade as a real right villain. Uh, uh, not for you, you raving maniac. He's trying to poison you. Liverpool Central Police Station, can I help you? Chief Inspector Burroughs, please. You haven't given up any of your bad habits since you swapped your warrant car for a dog collar. Come on, Fitzgerald. You don't subscribe to the theory that the clergy should be teetotal, do you? I wasn't looking at it from a religious angle. I was considering your waistline. Have you any conception of the carbohydrate content of a pint of what you've got there? Cheers. Not still on that slimming kick, are you? Some of us have to. We're working coppers, not podgy country vicars. <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, anyway, thanks for finding the time to come and see me. Didn't. I had a court case in Southport this morning. And you rang up and offered me lunch. It fitted in very nicely. What do you make of that? Some sort of barbiturate. Yeah. I'll get forensics to suss it out for you. Thanks. Yeah, I'd also be grateful if you'd get your fingerprint lads to give that a going over. Oh, yeah, Chris, but you want your money's worth for the price of a pub lunch, don't you? 
Oh, go on. I'll stand for anything. <laughs> you say he said he was an ex-army man? Yeah, a retired major, but I should think the only time he ever saw the inside of an officer's mess was when he scrubbed it out. What is he, then? A nutter? Some sort of religious fruitcake? You've no idea what it is he might be after? None at all. What about your friendly neighbourhood Nick? Can't they keep an eye on things for you? Well, the local Bobby's a good lad, Cyril, but he can't spend all his time on a surveillance at St Mary's. I mean, it's not even as though there was anything there worth lifting. So what are you going to do about it? Only thing I can do. I'm going to sleep in the church for the time being. Well, you can't keep down in there forever. Well, I'm hoping I won't have to, because if your fingerprint lads can tell me who he is, it might give me some idea of what it is he's after. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, what about this lunch I've been promised? Uh, What's on offer? Shepherd's pie is usually favourite. Shepherd's pie? Well, there's more calories in a shepherd's pie than there is in a whole ruddy shepherd. this, Major? Turn visit for another look at the famous Dendite gargoyles. Ah, Cyril, good morning to you, Padre. I must say, I, I hardly expected to find you here with this ungodly hour. Oh, I don't suppose you did. What did you expect? An unconscious dog? That would be about your cowardly level. Ah, you found a little doggy treat. I underestimated your intelligence, Padre. I, I must try to do better next time. Well, there isn't going to be a next time, Major. I'm going to throw you off these premises just as soon as I find out... <coughs> Interfering copper. Hunter! Why not? It's no more than what he deserves. Damn! I've told you before there are more important issues than settling your personal scores. Come! I will have you, though, before this lot is over. Hunter! Must be slipping, Sir Roger, old son. Should have counted on there being two of them. Now they've both got away. We still don't know what it is they're after. <laughs> <laughs> 